Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon or Rising. And Pisces, this is your monthly intuitive tarot reading for February 2020. So what we're working with here today is I have the beautiful Sahara Rose, a yogic path oracle. I have the Rebecca Campbell Work Your Light oracle deck and I have the classic Rider Waite Smith um, tarot deck here. So I'm going to pull the cards for you now on camera. Now guys, this process can take five minutes or it could be up to around eight minutes so if you prefer to skip directly to the reading of the cards please use the timestamp in the description of this video although I will give um, a commentary of the cards as they come out so just calling in all angel spirits and guides and asking for an oracle card here for the collective of Pisces for February 2012 Sometimes they come out quickly, Pisces. Sometimes it takes a while. Um, I don't choose the cards. I allow them to fall because I believe it's the energy of the collective that is selecting the cards. It's not my energy, so I don't choose them for you. Um, oh, we've got one that's flipped over. We have got Shiva. Beautiful. So we'll be reading out the Oracle cards at the end, guys. Let's go to the yogic, so the yogic path, the work your light oracle. And you know we, we aim for one oracle card from each deck. If two come out, you know, we take them, but if big clumps of cards come out, that's usually just the energy of the cards, and um, we'll put those back in when that happens. You'll probably see what I mean when I get to the tarot cards. So what is the message please? Whoa, okay, there it goes. We do have two. We have awakening. Some of you might be going through a spiritual awakening in February or awakening to the truth of the situation. Now, the one that ended up on the floor is actually the no oracle card, which is a very strong message from the universe. So if you are taking a key decision this month, it may be best to postpone and hold off making that decision. Okay, let's go to the tarot deck now. And first of all, I'd like to request from Angel Spirits of Guides two cards for the recent past position of Pisces. And there goes the decision. <laughs> recent past, so you may already have made this decision. But if you are on the threshold of that, you know, the universe says that you might be able to make the decision this month, but it's not a good time to move forward with the action. Okay, one more card please for the recent past. We've got two. Yeah, okay. We have the four and five of pentacles. So some of you might be making a decision to end hardship, to, you know, remove yourself from any kind of um, victim mentality or keeping yourself small. Okay, we'll have the current energies please for the collective of Pisces. Oh, okay, beautiful. I love the magician. There's nothing that can remove you from negative energy and negative thought patterns like the magician, like being the creator of your own reality. Current energies, please. We have the five of wands. You're changing your situation for better, getting out of this internal conflict. Okay, we can now draw cards four. They came straight out for the near future outcome position we have temperance and we have the ten of wands so definitely time for this burden relating to the situation of hardship to complete time to rebalance yourself now let's get some advice from tarot or spirit two cards please they are coming out quickly for you guys oh okay moving forward to better emotional fulfillment Maybe love coming in, could be an apology or an emotional message. Oh, we have justice here as well. Definitely justice is needed to bring the situation back into balance, which has been out of balance for a while. Um, <laughs> the world is at the bottom of the deck, guys. Um, but just before we get to that, I am going to draw another one for that five of wands. Just get, the, get everything we need and then we'll lay them out. Oh, Hierophant. Okay, so it could be, this hardship situation could be relating to the workplace and it could also be in a relationship with the Hierophant. Um, and we'll just get one more too for that Knight of Cups. 
I think that's the moving forward energy. We've got to, yeah, we've got swift progress and we're moving forward to a sense of greater clarity. Yeah, and remember we have that world card at the bottom of the deck as well. All right, guys, I'm going to set these up a little nicer for you, make it pretty, and then we'll come back and we'll read the energies of the cards. Okay, let's read the cards, Pisces, just to reiterate what we have here. In your recent past position, we have the Two of Swords. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles behind there. Current energies, we have the Beautiful Magician. We have the Hierophant with the Five of Wands behind there. In your near future outcome position, we have the Ten of Wands and Temperance. In the Advice from Spirit or Tarot, we have the Four of Wands with the Eight of Wands and the Nine of Cups behind, Knight of Cups, sorry, behind there. We have the Justice with that. And we have the huge completion and victory of the world card under the deck. We also have your oracles over to the side. We'll be closing out the reading with those. So let's begin at the beginning because where else would we start? Okay, guys. In your recent past, I see some of you in a situation of lack or scarcity. We have the four and five of pentacles here. Now, four of pentacles can have different meaning, meanings however with this four of pentacles I'm really sorry with this five of pentacles I'm really seeing that there's been a situation of hardship that has kept you stuck kept you stagnant maybe held you back and kept you small now pentacles are closely associated with our material possessions and our finances and our monetary um, wealth and gains so it could be that you've been in financial hardship and that's held you back from moving forward could be a debt situation it can be you know maybe not being able to find a job if you've been out of work um, it can be in the workplace you know not getting that pay rise that you deserve and that sort of putting you in a cycle of of not feeling good enough um, it can also link to a uh, disconnect from spirituality with that five of pentacles as well um, you know the five of pentacles shows these two people here that are in a state of lack and in a state of negativity i mean they're they're maimed and hungry and tired and without proper clothing and footwear on this cold night and yet they're passing a be the beautiful refuge of the church which is actually the hierophant right but they don't see it they miss it because they're too consumed in their own misery so the message here is that you know when we are stuck in the cycle of lack and negativity and victim mentality we just can't see out of it we can't see the opportunities we can't see the forest for the trees and we need to step back and see the big picture in order to be able to make a good decision in order to move through the situation that's the five of pentacles energy here so Think about in your life what may be have, you know, making you feel like that. It can also be a feeling of being alienated or left out in the cold in the situation as well. Maybe some of you have felt like that in the workplace. Um, maybe some of you have been excluded from, from certain activities. It could be that as well. Yeah, and we see in that, in that Four of Pentacles, maybe some of you have really had to hang on to every last pentacle because there just hasn't been enough wealth to go around. And when we get stuck in that cycle of five of pentacles energy, it can be like a self-perpetuating, self-fulfilling prophecy where lack just breeds more lack and it's very difficult to then move ourselves into a place of power and abundance. And I feel like you might have been at that crossroads for quite some time with this two of swords here but I feel like you've really been you know you've reached the point where it's like okay well I need to change something here something's got to give I need to make a decision I need to be able to move forward now the two of swords show somebody who is in that decision making uh, mode they are standing at that crossroads and they're weighing up the options now I feel like somebody that was in a five of pentacles mentality would be quite disconnected from their intuition because when we're in a place of um, you know lack and negativity and we're disconnected from our higher self and spirituality it's often quite difficult to make good decisions for ourselves and it blinds us right that's why we see um, this person here crossing their heart and with the blindfold on now we also the the message with the two of swords is to not let emotions 
um, skew our decision making process and if we're in five of pentacles or four of pentacles energy we could be feeling quite emotional quite hard done by negative um, and we mustn't let um, that drive our decision making process we need to move forward with with clarity now we had that no oracle card so I feel like it's not the time to move forward um, maybe until the very end of the month but it's still okay to take those key decisions and really start planning it. And I think that's what you've been doing. You've been trying to, to plan, your, plan your lucky break or really decide how you're going to end this perpetuating cycle that we've got here. Now, um, current energies, we have the Hierophant and the Five of Wands here. Two number fives. So or three number five, sorry, one, two, and three, straight in a row here. Now five is the number of conflict, right? And with three number fives, that just amplifies that even more. So I feel like some of you might be have been engaged in external conflict and internal conflict. And this could be um, with this combination of cards, uh, fights over finances or how the money is being spent in a relationship. Because the Hierophant can be the institution of committed marriage or committed relationships. So that could have ended up in, in quarrels, you know, about where money's going and there's not enough. What are we going to do? Some of you might be stuck in quite an argumentative cycle. Um, the Hierophant can also indicate our institutions of work and study, university, schooling, those kind of places. So we could see, you know, some some bickering going on in those places. Maybe that's been holding you back from getting pay rises. Maybe you've been competing for, you know, for a role, for that pay rise, for that promotion, and maybe you've been unsuccessful, um, and, and that's why you might be feeling a little bit isolated, alienated. So it can relate to relationships, can relate to the workplace, guys. You'll know what it is for you because it's a general reading. Generally, the five of uh, wands is a pettier type of arguing than the five of swords so it can just be the backstabbing the the tit for tat the trying to get you know one up on each other um, but with three number fives that can be amplified more now five is also the number of change so to me it says that the the antidote to to the fighting to, to the negative energy is is creating positive change and inspired action now you can see these people in the five of wands our wands are our passion, our purpose, our spirituality, our enthusiasm, our personal power. And we see these people using that in the wrong way, you know. They are engaging in battle or fight with their wands of power. So there's a big message about it's time to focus your power now and use it wisely because you need to use it to turn this situation around. And that's exactly what the magician does. The magician has a wand, but the magician uses it to create a better reality, to co-create with the universe, to focus on abundance. Now, we've got the, had the awakening oracle card under here, and the magician energy is having an awakening to the fact that you are your own magic man or woman. You have all the tools at your disposal in order to create the reality that you desire and it's awakening to that fact and that awakening alone unlocks your infinite potential now um, in particular when I see the magician in a reading with the five of pentacles I'm always reminded of the saying as above so below with the magician now what that really means is that our external reality is a reflection of our internal reality so if you're stuck in a place of negativity and lack and scarcity that's what's going to be turning up that's what's going to show up in your external realm so in order to shift that where we start is by shifting our internal world and then we start seeing that reflected externally so that would be you know raising your vibration um, squashing negative thoughts as soon as they come up taking some the right steps, starting to make decisions and put strategies in place on how to free yourself from this hardship. That's what the magician does. The magician uses their wand of power for, you know, constructively, um, effectively, instead of using it um, like these people here who were just, you know, basically giving away their personal power. It's about focusing your energies and using that power to transform your internal world to then transform your external reality. 
And when you do that, Pisces, that's when we have the opportunity to, you know, to end that situation of hardship, to release the burdens, to release the weight of that situation. Now, the Ten of Wands talks about someone who's been weighed down, who's had the weight of the world on their shoulders. Absolutely, you would if you were in this situation. Now, the Ten of Wands also shows me that by being burdened by the situation, you know, it's really clouded your vision. I mean, these people here in the Five of Pentacles walk straight past the refuge, the very thing that could, could help them. And the person in the Ten of Wands makes this journey from work to home, work to home, following a well-worn path. But he likely wouldn't see other pathways and opportunities that may be close by because the vision is clouded. So the idea is that by releasing this burden, by ending this situation through taking inspired action, making clear decisions, then we can put down these wands and open up that view again. And then you will see new pathways and new ways to, work, to move forward. It will be there, Pisces. Let's not forget that we have the world at the bottom of the deck, right? So it says that the cycle is well and truly due to end and then I think there's probably going to be a period of of recalibrating and rebalancing required you know really going to need to do that internal alchemy like this angel is doing with this emotional water of life here she's you know she's moving them between these cups to to re-alkanize them to oxygenate oxygenate I don't even know what I'm trying to say get oxygen into that water because you know that's what actually shifts the energy that's what starts to raise the vibration temperance is about restoring renewing a re renewal regenerating after a period of hardship it talks about you know coming back into stability in terms of your physical emotional and uh, mental well-being i see the, the the she wears the triangle on her gown there because the triangle is the most stable structure and I see each one of those sides as being the, the physical, mental, and emotional well-being. And it's about bringing them back into balance so that when you, one of these sides is pushed, when someone pushes your buttons or pushes one of those zones for you, it's not going to collapse because you have stability. And it's through this recalibration process that, you know, we see, we see a new dawn, a new day starting to rise on the horizon. And the more this internal alchemy goes on, the more the rebalancing happens, the sun rises. And when it rises, it illuminates that new path forward, that path out that you can now see because you've released the burden. And this angel here can go about this process with one foot in those emotional waters of life, but one foot firmly on the ground. So it does say to me that you will be able to go about your earthly responsibilities, your childcare, your, you know, running your household, um, going to work, school, uni, whatever it is, you'll be able to do that while you're going through this process. So you are, you are going to be able to handle, you're going to be able to handle this Pisces. Right, let's go to the advice of, from Spirit or Tarot. Yeah, we have the Justice card. I'm going to bring that World card in with this one. Yeah, ooh, so basically this says that it is time for justice to be served in this situation. It is time for a fear and just modification to happen in this situation to rebalance the scales of life. We have a theme of needing to bring things back into balance after a period where you might have been feeling quite out of balance Pisces now both of these cards are cards of victory so it does say that you have made it and the world card talks about great completion major completion of a life cycle the world is the final card in the tarot that says that you've arrived and what the magician set out to manifest right back at the start of whatever the situation was has completed now and it's time for you to get back into the flow of life and be like this dancer who jumps through that Saturnian hoop into her next chapter so there is a huge sense of completion here the world card can link to karmic contracts or life lessons so yes it may have been a hard time may have been a period of hardship but potentially um, you know there was some karma to be resolved some of you might have been, you know, in a relationship with a karmic partner that, you know, is now ready to be released. 
well there was maybe a life lesson to be learned and it's saying that now that has been learned and it is time for you to release it and move forward to something better now justice can also talk about legal proceedings maybe if any of you need to get legal advice through the situation it's a good time to do that dig out that work contract and know your rights um, for some of you if you are ending a relationship this can be um, you know divorce paper signing or any sort of legal documentation to do with those kinds of things but yeah it's all about you know this necessary action to rebalance the universe's balance sheet which always adds up so if you have had a period of hardship it's only inevitable Pisces that now you will move into a much brighter time and that's what we see here look at this knight of cups eight of wands and the beautiful four of wands yeah so for me you know this is tarot saying that when justice is served when the wands have been released when the situation has completed that is when you begin to move on to an emotional new beginning to happiness it can be an apology an emotional offer can be new love but it comes after you've moved through the situation and it is time for you to move on near the end of February or the start of March from this year, not before then. And you'll know when that's happening. And I think it's going to be, actually once that process is initiated, it's going to happen really swiftly with the Eight of Wands here. The Eight of Wands is fast progress. It is also an element of divine timing with the Eight of Wands. It can be an, emo an emotional message that is delivered to you that helps you move on or gives you a directional indication of the way forward uh, those messages with the eight of wands often come through um, the airwaves so sms email um, social media that kind of thing and you know where is it all heading pisces well we have the beautiful four of wands here the promise is better times happier times more joyful times and more stable solid times in your life the four of wands is all about security and stability and living your best life you know it can be you know in the future a committed relationship marriage a beautiful home abundance and it comes after moving on from the situation that's what you're moving towards emotional fulfillment and stability and security you know, we saw in the Four of Pentacles here somebody who was trying to establish security by holding on to everything and tightening their grip. This is security and stability, but in the sense of people who understand abundance creation, that it's an effortless flow, that it will keep coming in because there's no negative mindset um, drawing more scarcity towards them. That's what it is. And also um, with both of these cards, I have to say, the Eight of Wands and the Four of Wands, do be looking out towards the end of the month for the synchronicities, the signs or serendipitous moments that the universe might be bringing you because there could be a clue in there for how to move forward. We see the 1111 formation here which indicates that sometimes you know you need to expect the unexpected. Sometimes that you know knight in shining armor or that golden opportunity just comes out of nowhere and sometimes it comes out of the rubble of a difficult situation. Okay, Pisces, let's go to the Oracle cards. I'm going to start with the Yogic Path card, Shiva, first. Let's read that out for you. God of Destruction and Rebirth. Well, that's very, very fitting, guys. Shiva is referred to as Adiyogi, the first yogi ever. He attained enlightenment and abandoned himself in an ecstatic dance atop the Himalayas. When this ecstasy went beyond movement, he became utterly still. People could not understand his switch between ecstatic movement and stillness and thought him mad. However, seven students wanted to learn how he was moving past physical limitations. This is how he began teaching yoga. Shiva planted the seed of yoga into the human mind. Pulling Shiva represents moving past the limitations from your society, body, mind, or ego. It represents doing the inner work to evolve. It is a call to service to teach others your wisdom so they too can become liberated. It's about overcoming your limitations, Pisces, 
And, you know, it's the cycle of rebirth. That's the world energy that we saw there. You are closing out a cycle and you are going to be reborn or renewed. Okay. Now, we've talked about that. We had the no oracle card. There's nothing really to read out with this, guys. It's just a whole page of no's in the book. So it's saying wait, pause, postpone, say no. I really feel that, you know, it's time to take the action near the end of the month or the beginning of March. This is all you just figuring it out, putting those decisions in place and getting your personal power back. Now we also have the Awakening Oracle card. Energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. You are going through a period of awakening. Things are changing within you and at many levels. You are starting to remember ancient truths and discovering more and more about who you are and why you are incarnated. You may find that you are experiencing past life flashbacks, seeing the invisible thread that is woven through all of life or even feeling Kundalini Shakti rise through your body from the base of your spine. The most important thing for this time is not to overthink it and to stay grounded. Share your experiences with like soul people while you consciously integrate them. Journal and pay attention to your dreams. You are remembering your soul and your gifts are emerging. Look, some of you might be having a spiritual awakening. Often these processes, major completions in our lives can can lead to that. So just enjoy that if you are, um, you know, going through that. And I do feel that with the justice energy and some of the other ones here that you might be awakening to the truth of the situation, maybe seeing it for exactly what it is. And that might be the key thing that is actually helping you release it and move forward. So Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. I wish you all the best with it this month. And um, do remember it's a general reading. It won't be for every one of you guys. But feel free to leave me a comment because I always like to know how it's playing out in your daily life. And I'll see you back here next week with another reading. Next month, sorry. And next week because I do weekly readings as well. <laughs> Thanks Pisces.